Hi LEGO fans! Now unless you've been hiding under a rock for the last few months, you've probably heard that LEGO have got yet another movie coming out. Yes, the Ninjago movie is going to be hitting a big screen near you sometime next month. And it goes without saying that LEGO have a ton of new toys for us to go out and buy. So today, we're going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 70609 the Manta Ray Bomber with 341 pieces. This is one of three Ninjago movie sets that I bought at the Lego store just so that I could spend $50 and get two free caveman minifigures. And if you want to check out that review video, please check the link on screen now. In total, there are about 13 sets currently on sale in stores for the Ninjago movie, but I know Lego have some more coming, including the epic Ninjago City, which I think is out on September the 1st, and that set comes with 4,867 pieces and a price tag of $300. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get excited about some of the Ninjago movie sets currently on sale, but this is definitely the exception. And I just think it's really cool that this is called a Manta Ray Bomber, and it actually looks like a Manta Ray. That is just so cool, and I just had to get this set. At the $30 price tag, it's not terrible value for money, and it's great that we're getting four minifigures. Those are Cole. Shen Li, Great White, and the Shark Army Gunner. Cool, so before we get this open, let's flip it over and take a look at the back of the box. I always like to take a look at the artwork on the back of the box because it gives us a much better idea of what the Lego set does. So in this case, we're essentially getting one master build, which is the Manta Ray Bomber, which has a detachable boat. Besides looking very cool, there aren't a ton of interactive features here. We do of course get the detachable boat and we have these explosive charges which look like they can either be dropped from the Manta Ray Bomber or deployed as mines from the little launch. But the coolest feature seems to be at the front of the Manta Ray where we've got these two hidden projectiles which we can fire. So we're definitely going to check those out when we finish building. Awesome, so let's cut to the chase and get this box open. Awesome, so here's everything we get inside the box. We have two instruction manuals, a boat element, a refreshingly minimal sticker sheet, and two numbered bags of Lego. I'm not sure we've got enough Lego here to justify a 90 second speed build, so we're gonna ramp things up and do a 25 second build. And here's the completed build. This took exactly 30 minutes to put together, which for a $30 set makes it about a dollar a minute. The build was pretty straightforward and easily within the capabilities of the 7 to 14 age range. And the completed Manta Ray Bomber is easily as good looking as it looked on the box. Cool, so let's get in a little bit closer and take a look at all of the details on this set, starting with the minifigs. The first minifigure is Cole and he comes with this impressive looking hammer that's made out of just a few Lego elements but uh, it's definitely way over the top so let's take that out of the way and we can have a look at Cole the minifigure in a little bit more detail. Uh, so he is dressed in his ninjutsu training outfit by the looks of it and that has some great metallic printing on the front and also metallic printing on the back there. Uh, he has these black hands because presumably he's wearing gloves and uh, a very determined looking expression on his face. Now the headgear actually comes in two parts and the top can come off like so. And then we have this uh, kind of bandana or scarf around the mouth. If we take that off, we'll be able to have a look at his face in a little bit more detail. Okay, so that's his, uh, I guess his fighting face, which is uh, rather mean. And then we turn him around and he definitely looks a little bit happier. And there's actually a cutout at the back of the scarf to allow the bandana to come down at the back of the head. And that is Cole. This is Chen Li, who is being assisted by Cole to escape from the shark army. And the most notable feature we see here straight away is that he has this fantastic water carrier. And this is constructed from standard Lego elements. We've got two bucket elements there, or pails. And then, um, yeah, we, we just have a simple 
uh, beam, a couple of hooks on the end, and that's very simply built. And that just clips onto the back of him here with a standard adapter for putting things on the back of minifigures and a clip. So that's very nicely put together. Uh, if we take a look at his outfit, he is dressed in very traditional Japanese, uh, almost peasant wear there. And uh, that is very nicely printed. You can see his kimono and he's got, I'm sure there's a word for this ornament that uh, Japanese uh, men wear around their waist like this, uh, which escapes me. Uh, but that's very nicely uh, detailed. On the back we have some more printing and he's wearing this conical hat which is uh, which is very cool and certainly keeps the sun away uh, so he is looking a little bit worried as i would be if i was being chased by the shark army and there's no printing on the back of the head there so that is chen lee he's a very nicely printed minifigure Moving on to the bad guys, this is Great White from the Shark Army, and he is a very impressive looking minifigure. I really like that shark headgear that he's wearing. This is not the first time we've seen Great White. Uh, he is actually also in the Ninjago movie collectible minifigures series. And in this example on the right here, it looks like his suit is going into meltdown and his fish is spurting fire. So uh, I don't know the story behind that. I'm sure it will be revealed in the movie. His weapon of choice is a fish drill. All of the uh, shark army seem to have these weapons consisting of fish with this, in this case, this particular drill element coming out of it. Uh, we can take this piece of headgear off and that has the, uh, the actual breathing apparatus built in at the front there. This actually came in its own tiny little bag within the set. So obviously a very specialized piece. And he has this very mean expression on his face and nothing on the back there, although he does have this breathing apparatus. Now, in terms of printing, he is fully printed down the front, a uh, little bit of metallic going on there, which is very nice, and printed legs. And then if we just briefly take his head off, you can see the printing on the back, and he has this harness on the back with, again, a little bit of metallic printing. So we'll just put him back together, and that is our <laughs> let's get his head on the right way around there we go and that is great white from the shark army the fourth and final minifigure is the shark army gunner and he is wearing exactly the same uniform so we've got the same torso and everything as the shark army great white uh, the main difference here is that he has a slightly different weapon and this is the fish psi again the same fish element but this time we have a psi which is basically a trident or uh, three-pointed stabbing weapon that's pretty uh, traditional to ninjutsu or should i say uh, ninjas. Uh, his head is obviously going to be different uh, because he is a different guy, no printing on the back, and he just has this cap on the top of his head, uh, so he's almost like a hired goon, not one of the main characters. Turning our attention back to the Manta Ray Bomber, it seems that it is controlled by our Shark Army guys at the top of the ship. The guy in charge seems to be Great White, and as you can see he's got some simple controls to pilot the Manta Ray Bomber. Meanwhile, at the back, we have the gunner, and he has this very impressive looking gun. And I really like the fact that Lego have used a magnifying glass. Sure, we've seen these before, but it's great that these little magnifying glasses actually work. And if you look very carefully, you can see the shark army gunner's eye. The confusing thing about this build is that it is meant to be a bomber. However, usually with an aircraft that's a bomber, you would hang the bombs under the aircraft. In this case, however, the bombs are actually attached to the boat and you'll see them in a little bit more detail as we take the boat off the aircraft. The tricky bit about removing the boat from the top of the aircraft is oh, exactly like that. You've got these mechanisms here which actually deploy the uh, projectiles at the front of the Manta Ray bomber. The mechanisms for deploying the projectiles are hidden deep within the body of the aircraft. In fact, they almost look like the tonsils of the Manta Ray hidden away in the middle there. Not that I would ever advocate firing stuff towards an expensive 4K video camera, but let's have a go anyway. Don't try this at home, kids. This is one of the projectiles, and as you can see at the end here, it's nicely rounded, so hopefully nobody gets hurt. On the shaft of the projectile are some notches. So what we're going to do is effectively push this into a spring-loaded chamber, uh, which is then going to snag on these notches. Now to deploy the projectile, we're simply gonna push down the end here, 
which will disengage the notches from the body of the launch mechanism and allow the spring to fire it into the air. We're simply going to push it into the front of the manta ray like so and it will clip into place ready to launch. As we insert the projectile you'll see this piece back here moving backwards and as we lock and load you can see that these are both in that armed position. And then all we need to do is apply a little pressure and we deploy the projectiles. This is not going to give the slow-mo guys any sleepless nights, but it would be remiss of me not to include some gratuitous slow motion action. Well, that was an interesting distraction, but before we get too deep into the manta ray bomber, let's turn our attention back to the little boat. The actual main hull of the boat is something that we've seen many times before in Lego. That is one solid piece. And as they warn us, it does not float, especially with this amount of equipment on board. Um, we've already taken a look at the gun. I just wanted to focus in on these bombs. We actually get two of these and these are nicely constructed and one is mounted on each side of the boat and these just simply clip on like so. Now with them being clipped to the boat I can't help but think that these are going to be mines that are deployed from the water rather than bombs that are dropped from the plane. Back to the main attraction and this is a very cool looking build that I'm looking forward to displaying in my collection. The wings were a little bit repetitive to build but at least they were done in mirror image of each other. Underneath the aircraft we have these two large buoyancy aids come engines and it looks like those help the craft to navigate both in the air and in the water. We also have a large hull section here which adds to the stability of the build. At the back of the build we have this large section here which is a tail piece and that looks just like a manta ray's tail. But the highlight of the build for me has to be the front of the manta ray bomber and I really do think this looks just like the real thing. The other thing I liked about this build was that it came with virtually no stickers. In fact, we just have the two large stickers with the number 26 on at the ends of the wings. It's great to see LEGO releasing an innovative, well thought through build rather than just relying on stickers to make it look great. Finally, one last gratuitous shot from the rear just to show off the symmetry of the build. Good job, LEGO. So that was set number 70609, the Manta Ray Bomber from the Lego Ninjago movie. I'll be reviewing some more of these Lego Ninjago movie sets in the future, so be sure to check back for more. In fact, I'm expecting a rather large box to arrive tomorrow, and I'm super excited to share that set with you. Can you guess what it is yet? If you enjoyed this unboxing, speed build and review video, please don't forget to hit the like button down below. If you've not already checked it out, be sure to check out my guide to feeling out the Lego Ninjago movie blind bags. And be sure to subscribe for more Lego content just like this twice every week. So thanks for checking out this Manta Ray Bomber with me. Have an awesome day and we'll see you on the next build video.